boss, get up! Now he's dead! The only thing he'll be overseeing is the river sticks. Hey! So, it's done. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. You could say that. But there are more dangers ahead, I'm afraid. What happened here? For me, the grief is still too near. I simply can't. Okay. Too traumatized. How could it be too traumatic for a robot? You're a robot! That's just how traumatic it was! That's just... <laughs> Super trauma. You're just a robot. It's a robot. It's like that. That's like saying, "Oh, it's too traumatic for my VCR to play it." Are our Raider friends doing all right? You guys hanging in there? You bested that ghoul fool. Respect. We got your back for sure. So tell us a little bit about yourself. No. Oh uh, well, my name's James. Splinter's my baby. I'll kill any motherfucker that fucks with her, except myself. <laughs> that's all for now. All right, well, what are, we, what are we doing? Enter Vault 54. All right, so we're still not in Vault 54. The entrance is somewhere around here. I thought we were already in Vault 54. Let's look for treasure. Might be treasure somewhere around here, apparently. Maybe. Oh, I wish some. Oh, let's go would... to the overseer's office. Yeah, what, what, what's, uh, what's going on? A uh, VR pod. Put, his, put a woman in a VR pod. Oh, Molly's the... Stop, don't, stop it. Stop standing so close to me. Don't stand, don't stand so... Don't stand so close to me. It's a good song. Don't stand. <laughs> don't stand Your so. Death is oh, you are. Why are you mad at me, Four <laughs> Oh no. Well, he wasn't shooting at you. He was defending you from Splinter. So yeah. I got. Uh, we gotta go back in time. I gotta be better than that. I gotta be better than that for Buddy Chicken. So, uh, overseer's office. Dead Molly in the VR pod. Yeah, I, I'm. Either. Robot must be named after it. I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, we'll poke around. Uh, ah! Hey, uh, is this thing on? Chloe, what the? Why are you what? here? Why do you look like the toy I had in 1998 of the Predator that was invisible, that was just made out of clear plastic? Why are you invisible, but I can still clearly see that you're in a nighty? That's what I mean. Yeah, the toy I had of the Predator was <laughs> in a nighty. <laughs> It was the it was the very rare sexual predator variant of the predator. <laughs> oh, they they called it that, and heads rolled. Yeah. I scry with my little third eye that you're getting into the vault proper. Oh, scrying is what you're doing, Ari. All right. Don't do that. I don't like it. The main vault consists of three large domes. The lab is in the third, and I sense obstruction. I'll have to search for a way through. What the heck is going on with her pit boy down there? There's like. The light coming out of her pit boy is also translucent. It's invisible light. And listen, I like your new friends. Uh. <laughs> I foresee they'll be of assistance. Is that someone's head? Keep them alive. Uh, I'm curious what that is. Yeah, it's a scrying ball. I look forward to you creeping me out again later. I'll be watching. Stop it. <laughs> Who are you talking to, dog? Aw, oh, snap. Chloe's doing her hoodoo. Yikes. The next time she shows up, she's just gonna show up and throw a roux at me. It's just gonna be like way too spicy though, so it's gonna be like she pepper sprayed me. <laughs> Unless they sneeze first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hello? I what what the heck? <laughs> Unless they sneeze first? Why why is it so like dark now? Holy shit. Wow. Had to crank up the had to crank up the hey. lighting on my pit boy. Oh no, it's a one. Oh, ant, hang on, hang on, ants. Bite my shiny metal ass. That doesn't that doesn't work. You don't have a metal ass. Yeah, you're not Bender. Stop it. That doesn't work. Yeah, I turned my pit boy up to a one million lumen pit boy. Six. It's a six point five billion lumen pit boy. Just because something has more lumens doesn't mean that it's brighter. Everyone always forgets that because people don't actually understand anything about flashlights. I'm talking to you, James. Listen to me. Listen to me, James. I know if you're gonna stand this close to me, I'm going to talk at you at great length and about flashlights. And blind you with a flashlight, apparently. Blind you with a flashlight. No, it's fine. It's only it's only a certain amount of lumen. It's the candela that gets you. Mm. Lumens are like the brightness of the flashlight, but candela is the hurt. intensity of the flashlight. Want a rub, baby? Not right now. No, we're, we're we're talking about flashlights. You stop talking about sex, you fucking pervert. He's not talking about sex. He's talking about rubbing her feet, which is a prelude to sex. Uh, state-of-the-art distribution network consisting of 20 miles of conveyor belts capable of moving 60 tons of products per 24 hours. What? Okay, 
Is this a vault where people are going to stay safe, or is it a manufacturing facility? It's a vault that we're, where people are going to stay safe that has a manufacturing facility. Okay. Real safe sunlight filtered through transparent aluminum delivered through miles of reflective conduit to uh, emanate naturalistically from the vault's three synthetic suns. What? Oh, so you can pretend you're outside. All right. Vault 54 was incorporated as a democratic republic where all voices can be heard. Uh -huh. Elections are held every six years for seven magistrates and five guild representatives who appoint a mayor. What? Careful screening of vault founders resulted in stability and prosperity that has lasted for over a century. I don't remember, I don't remember George Washington saying nothing about a magistrate. That sounds like commie bullshit to me. Congratulations to all inhabitants for they know true freedom. Uh, it sounds like commie bullshit. Oh, these are like classified ads. Uh, I am Sir Alastair Thorne. You may not have heard of me because I am old and infirm, having been unable to leave my home in the residences for 30 years. My ancestors have been mayors, overseers, financiers, and philanthropists. But my not being able to make it to the bank in Dome 2, our fortune has been unable to flow. Ambulator must have the necessary funds to process a test transfer to my account. These funds will merely confirm your account when will be returned immediately, plus 25% upon verification. Guaranteed cash! Please call <laughs> Sir Alistair Thorne at uh, Adam Smith. Random ISP Crooks. as New Zealand. Teddy seeks dino for fun. Meet me in D3 lower bathroom. Knock thrice. It's like some weird sexual shit. Uh, I'm sure more of these are too, yeah. I want someone to set me on fire. <laughs> Alright. Die, ghouls, die! I like how it deposited them all neatly at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Who are these residents? Are, are they former residents? They must be. I guess everyone here got turned into a ghoul? I guess they must be. Probably oh, look because... at that. Yeah, so it's like a dome. There's no lights. Where are we going? I, I don't know. Just poking around, I suppose. Into the Ministry of Information, apparently. Hey, this is sounds. All of these things sound distinctly un-American. We don't have ministries. Yeah, we don't have ministries in the United States, and we <laughs> definitely don't have a magistrate, whatever the fuck that is. Everybody, lockdown is in effect. Zombies have started using the ant tunnels. Best if we all leave together. So meet in the lobby at 1500. Dome One security chief will provide cover from the hospital roof. Okay, so I knew there was going to be problems here. Josh, you're the only one I can trust. I left the password to the mainframe on my desk. If you see Tyler Rose, let him know. Maybe you can get back here after we leave. Baby, I think they've gotten bigger. Shh. Are uh, these notes for like a game they were playing? Maybe? I don't. <laughs> I have a key that goes to a thing. Not sure what to, but we have a key. Yes, yeah, so we'll check each of these buildings one by one, I suppose. The Society of Builders! Is this like a mason thing? Hey, a fire helmet. Free mason, maybe. Let me just close this place out first and foremost. Retreat! Everyone's falling back to residential. In case you need to get back into the <clears throat> hospital, the key's <clears throat> underneath the lamp in the Dome 1 guard tower. <laughs> oh no, the phone line's been cut! You and Officer Jenkins will be posted at the residence door. Shoot to kill any unauthorized personnel. And of course, the zombies aren't authorized. Now I got a fire helmet on, so if any debris falls on my head, I'll be okay. So the hospital, now we have access. This is the hospital? It's a very small hospital. It's very clearly a hospital. This is barely a corner store. All right, into the hospital. I don't know what we're looking for. A way to get into dome two. I, did they, I don't. <laughs> when did this happen? Oh, these guys are always getting their hands dirty. Ford, did you do this? Uh, come, Ford, come over here. I'm going to rub your nose in it. I'm rubbing your nose in it because you messed on the carpet. He was just tired of carrying around his dead mother's ashes. And he picked this specific time. Then I'm going to rub your nose in it even more, Ford, because you need to be more respectful of dead people's ashes. Especially if they raised you. Uh, why was, why was my Rad Roach guy collecting bobby pins? Prolific lockpicker. He must have been. I love lockpicking, it's great. You don't do the one on this door though, it's a master lock, it sucks. Uh, locker, filing cabinet, what? What is with these roaches and collecting bobby pins? Well, everyone's gotta have a hobby. I have... At every roach, apparently. <clears throat> Did you just get hurt by walking on the skeleton? <laughs> Tripped over the skeleton. This isn't, it's not Skyrim, my guy. You don't have to commit to the bit that hard. All right. <laughs> I like monkey. Look, he's fun. You say that, but the moment we see him again. Why are you pointing the gun at me? 
I'm not pointing at you. God, I didn't realize you disliked Muggy that much. No, get down. There's a there's a ghost behind you. So you're gonna point the gun at me because there's a ghost behind me, Mike? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you're gonna shoot through the hey. ghost to hit me, not shoot through me to hit the ghost. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to hit the ghost because it's a ghost. That's why I loaded it with ghost bullets. That's what you that's what you use blanks for. Blanks are for fighting ghosts. <laughs> I see. People in hospice, maybe. Dead guy. Because. But it seems cruel. You, you I was just, just moving it. I'm looking to see if there's a key under it. I was trying to read some Michael Crow. I was trying to see if there's a key under his book. Please find attach an email from a student relating to cave cough. Thought you'd like to know. Cave cough. Oh. Dear doctors, my name is Parker Patterson, sophomore, future renowned chef. My Lydia has the cave cough. Not her morphin said she had two weeks to live. That was a month ago. Now she doesn't have cave cough anymore. How? The miracle of the mushroom! That is how I've been studying umami. Japanese, not Chinese! Since I was a little in little pants. It is so great. You should try my new recipe, debuting uh, upcoming mush fry, table three. But hey, how did mushrooms cure my aunt? I call it Patterson Balloon. It is proprietary though, so I can't tell you, but it uh, cured my aunt Lydia. I would like to know how to sell medicine to your hospital. It could save lives! Please reply, Dang! Okay. Cave cough is apparently a real thing. We got an epidemic, apparently. If you have any good Samaritan doctors looking into it, report them to my office. We have absolutely zero ideas, so if you know anyone that's injecting ivermectin and <laughs> it says it actually worked, please tell them to come here. I unlocked the supply closet. Unlocked! Unlock the supply closet for the terminal, just like most supply closets. Yeah, yeah, here we go. I we definitely need some of this. You don't mind, right, boss? No! No, 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 None of you get any of that. None of you get any of it. But it buffs them. Back out. Back out. Back out. Why are there a bunch of gun cabinets in the hospital? Gotta defend the hospital from cave cough. This is the LaFrance M16K45, which is a 45 caliber submachine gun. They basically took an AR-15 and converted it to 45 ACP. Okay. Yep. So instead of being direct gas impingement, now it's just blowback operated. Uh, it's got a really funny hand guard. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a, a it's circle. A, it's a it's a free float hand guard. They started out making like shorter versions of the M16 for special forces uh, to use in like Vietnam. It does look similar. And then, well, I mean, because it's an it's a it's an AR-15 or M16 that's just been. Shortened and it's in a different caliber. An M4 is already an M16 that's been shortened, though. Yeah, well, you got to remember that they didn't have the M4 during Vietnam. Oh. The M4 is a derivative of the XM177, which is in and of itself a derivative of the M16. Mm -hmm. So, so funny thing about the about the the forward assist. You see how there's like a little cutout on the bolt right there? Yeah. That little cutout serves two purposes. One. It gives space for this little detent to go when the dust cover is closed. And then when the bolt cycles backwards, it pops the dust cover open. Mm -hmm. And two, if for some reason the bolt doesn't go fully into battery, you can just stick your thumb on that cutout, which is basically the same size as a human thumb, <laughs> and push the bolt forward. I... So you don't even need the forward assist because you can just push the bolt forward with your thumb if it gets stuck. Yeah, but then you gotta stick your thumb inside your firearm and it's that's It's barely scary. even inside the gun. It's right on the outside of it. It's just going like beep and just pushing it forward a little bit. Oh, I feel much better pressing the button. Uh, the forward assists are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> forward assists are stupid. There's a, apparently a hatch in this what? room. What? <laughs> What is this layout? Who designed this? Hey? Who designed this vault? Wake up, James. Up here Ooh. on the roof. Wake up, James. Wake up, James. James, wake up. You're in a coma. Your family <laughs> loves you. Wake up, James. James, wake up. You're in a coma. For a second, when I found that LaFrance gun, I thought it was the Colt submachine gun, the one that they made for the Department of Energy. Mm. And you might think, like, why does the Department of Energy need submachine guns? And it's uh, for the people that guard nuclear reactors. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I so, you know, you might, you might want to have, like, a 9 mil submachine gun for people that are guarding nuclear reactors. Maybe no, you don't yeah. necessarily want to be shooting something that's going to punch holes through things. Yeah. Was, yeah. Maybe you want something that's just going to be kind of putting dents into stuff. Right, bouncing off the walls and the, the reactors. Yeah, ew, did you just spit, poor dog? Don't do that. <laughs> 
Oh, they put the toilet sign on, a, <laughs> on the end of this thing, and it's just a bucket. It's gross. The brush gun is there to defend from bears. Don't want them ambushing you while you're pooping on the roof. There is a button over here. Oh, there it is. Is that opening? Too loud, dog! What's too loud? Are you afraid we're gonna tr attract some cockroaches? Oh, damn, pass all over the place! It isn't worth it. I'm getting the there they out. are! Oh, are we playing Left 4 Dead now? Oh, yeah. we got the schools all right. Uh, we're playing Left 4 Dead 2 now. Oh yeah, cluster up before the grenades hit y'all. That's great. Ah! And then they all got hit. That, that's the sound of that's the sound of six ghouls all getting hit with shrapnel <laughs> at the same time. Oh, we opened up this passageway, I guess. Is, is this a passageway? Uh, I don't know, uh, man. I I have no idea. I guess we'll figure it out together. Yeah, here we go. This must be dome two. Okay, this is one of the other domes. That is well, stupid. Out. That's dumb. They, they inspired. It's cool looking. It's cool looking. I like that someone was like living in here. Yeah, and uh, they wanted to elect Haley for overseer, apparently. I don't know why. I That's don't care. Wrong, the wrong bolt. Buy refined Night Stalker oil today. As heard on Ian Malthus, only ninety nine ninety nine per dose. Order while you still have time. Five 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 five. Ah, uh, snake oil salesman. Literal snake oil. Yeah. Well, the key to Dome Two was in the tower. Maybe the key to Dome Three is in the tower here as well. You know, I kind of want to buy some actual snake oil. Yeah. Like I try to buy snake oil and they send me the cure for cancer and I'm just like, this isn't what I fucking wanted, and I throw it away. <laughs> Hold your position, maintain radio silence. I'll be at Smitty's keeping an eye on the rabble over there. Chief Black! Black! Bleah! We might need to get into that central, stupid looking thing as you Probably. Yeah. We probably need to go in there. You will suffer greatly. <laughs> Slack in the bathroom! Why are you getting right in my fucking way, Splinter? Why was this guy collecting buckets? <laughs> Why was my guy collecting buckets? Everyone's gotta have a hobby! I guess. Also, how is this staying suspended up here? There's no support structure. Or maybe the supports are invisible. I wish I could have a summary of like what's going on, but I really have no idea. Well, something happened that caused- Naked naked lady from Louisiana has decided that I worked for her at one point, but yeah, I don't know what happened in this vault. I don't know why this vault is also apparently a manufacturing plant. Also, there's a treasure down here. Yeah, there's like a treasure. Um. We're in Smitty's. Someone else is here at Smitty's as well. Sounds like ghouls. It's not someone else, it's just ghoul. Chief Liat report. Hard Scrabble. It was already down here fighting. <laughs> yeah, this is Chief Blatt. Bi hourly report. Situation safe. Bi hourly report! These are anxious, but I'm trying to be present and friendly. Hey, how are you doing? Yes, you. <laughs> Don't think we don't know what's going on. I read Rose's article and I believe it. Sir, please. I think the article is wild speculation, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> Happy to share a brew and discuss it with you when I'm off duty. My mother died from complications related to cave cough I've gotta and live. May, and my youngest, she's real sick. It didn't used to be like this, pal. Open your eyes. Gosh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, how old was she? We're placing you under citizen's arrest, Chief. Ah. Damn it, Walters! Ah. Jeez. What is happening? If only we could see what's going on, we'd be so enthralled! Oh. Oh, teenage girl shot me in the gut. I gotta get to Sekobe. By way of Barker's side I gotta side make door. my second hourly I report! I protect this key with my life. Ugh. Barker's password. Pale ale. Pale ale. Uh, well, no, that can't be his password because you need at least two capital letters and then you need a special character. You need two special characters and also it can't be actual words. It's got to be made up letters. It can't be any of your last 325 passwords. Some people are dead down here, but these... Yeah, this is where all the shooting took place. Uh, that, about yeah. whatever. My platform is built entirely on... Fluffy cushions and plush blankets for everyone! Yay! Hey, I know that guy! He's killing teddy bears and selling their organs as plush blankets! You know, I was just trying to do a nice thing, and then you just had to you just, you just had to ruin it, didn't you? It's a, it was a big cover-up! He's, he's got ties to the mafia! No, the bit's over, Mike. The oh, bit's over. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh, yeah! Oh, I have a great time. 
great time with that. <laughs> Please keep your arms and legs inside the door ride until the ride has ended. I got his fingers caught in the door. Well. <laughs> Fun's over. I could have made this note a whole lot shorter by just saying the password was pale ale. Bleh. <laughs> but at least we got some insight into the backstory here. My name's Chief Blatt and I died like a little bitch. <laughs> We continue on further into whatever the hell this place is. Yeah. Oh, is this like where, is this the little conveyor belt that you like put your tray on when you're done eating? Those are cool, I like those. Disengage the lock. To security hub A apparently. I thought that was a restaurant, but apparently the entrance to security hub A is through the back of the restaurant. I don't understand this layout. Stop, hold the fuck up. Damn, baby. Baby, look! What What are we looking at? Oh damn, bottle caps! This is our share. No. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! I got wow. dibs on the next one. Yeah. That my share. Fun. My love. So I hear you're single now. Mother humper! You I got dibs on the next box of caps we find. Everybody hear that? Dibs. All right, enjoy your juice. Looks like security is the other way, where the key you need is. Well, we don't exactly know where we're going. I have no, look, I have no idea where I'm going. There's a golf cart in here. It would have been funny if the golf cart was literally across this, like the guy Austin powered it into one spot. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. That would give me a good chuckle. She was sucking like she knew the layout of this place, which is suspicious. And the raps number five. Situation Gotta keep up a line. Line. That's what I'm saying. You can put the, you know, you can put the Abraxo cleaner in the bathtub, but that doesn't make it clean. <laughs> Just gotta add water. D James! <laughs> James! I am about to muzzle punch you in the face with this gun. After we check out every nook and cranny over here. Some, uh... Are you guys gonna do anything? You go. You won't let me do anything else. You gonna do something this time? Uh, it's just roaches. They can't be bothered. Oh, now. There we go. You missed one. <laughs> It's a little babe, they're gonna leave him alive. You missed one. Keep one alive, tell your friends. Look what I can do. Yeah, wow, it's amazing. What, what is the deal with this? Why are there more bobby pins in the? You're gonna complain? Free bobby pins for us. I guess I'm not gonna complain. It's just like, what did the rad roach just eat? About, do they spawn from bobby pin boxes? Maybe the bobby It's rad roaches. The bobby pins are made of rad roaches. Maybe it had a hundred legs and we're using its legs as bobby pins. That's, that's what I mean, yeah. Like, if the bobby pins are made of rad roaches, it was, it's a reference to, uh... Um, Soylent Green. Yeah, it's a reference to Soylent Green. It's, yeah. Some friendly, glitchy Night Stalkers. <laughs> he's moving so fast, he must have gotten the drugs himself. Oh, he's done. Man, every <laughs> time I blink, I see a staircase full of giant ants. Don't know how much more of these skittering motherfuckers I can take. There's something in this van. I know it. Come on, help me look, man. All right, I can't find it. Oh wait, this is my butt. My butt was in the vent the whole time. <laughs> you think Hard Scrabble? You think he's named after the board game? No, I think he really liked hard-boiled eggs and scrambled eggs, and he couldn't figure out which one he wanted to be his name. So he was like, "I'm gonna be Hard Scrabble." But his name's not Hard Scramble, it's Hard Scrabble. Well, nobody can understand what he's saying, so everyone calls him <laughs> Hard Scrabble. 